Good afternoon, Internet. I'm your host, Hazel Place 89 Welcome to City Skylines 2. We're in Blackshire again today. We are looking over at our beautiful, brand new public or er, pa passenger train station that we put in last episode. And there are things that I want to do to it to kind of make it mo better. So, we're going to do that today. Also, I want to turn this into like a community. Um, commercial district park area thing i think it'll look pretty cool um and then i want to put homes here in this area and then also let's take a look and see what our services look like as you can see we are hurting for education all across the board we are also hurting in several areas for fire and rescue as well as police coverage so I want to figure all that out today. So, with all that said, thank you guys for joining me on this episode. Well, let's get right down into it. So first and foremost, I was thinking about this the other day as I was like trying to sleep, and I was like, you know what? This this place needs this place needs a nice stationed area thing on the back side of the of the train station, so people can get on both sides of it. So that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> we're gonna put a path here we're gonna put a path wait what is that three we're gonna put a path here and then we're going to join the paths like so all right so i'm gonna figure this out we're gonna go up let's say 10 units or 10 meters let's go get one more Good 12 and a half keep our 90 degree angle we'll go eight units over about like this and then we will go straight down like so why is this the way that it is there we are and then we will place a little path there so people can walk it's not the most elegant solution but I think that it works so we need to why is why are you not doing things there we go. We'll just we'll just do that, and then I think we'll just draw all this here, and then we can. I think we can add some sneaky detailing out here as well. So that'll be fun. So I was thinking about that, and I was like, it would make sense for these people to have the option to um, kind of get on the backside if they need to. So that's what we've got. And now what I want to do before we start zoning everything is I want to think about a road layout out here. But what I definitely want to do is we're going to grab this road. Let's do about an 11 unit thing if we can't get one off right here. 11 units. So I'm going to... Why are you not lining up? Why is it this thing? Let's turn that back on. So I'm going to try to get some parking back here, but let's do let's do that. That's better. Fix it. Okay, so let's go to our roads. We're gonna grab a parking lot just to kind of get an idea. Turn off the bright brightness. Oh, I can't. Sad day. Anyway, so let's do. All right, so I need it backed up by one unit. So we're gonna delete this road. This is what's so cool about Sea Skylines. I was talking to my sister. She's recently gotten into the first game, and I was she's telling me that she's thinking about redoing her industry areas. And I was like, "Go for it." That's the one fun, one amazing thing about City Skylines, both one and two, is that you can, you don't have to be so rigidly structured into only one type of thing. You can make changes as you go, like 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 City Planner. Is famous for for Colin Mulligans, right? You know, people. It, it's one of his like, it's a it's a hallmark of his channel, <laughs> um, and that's awesome. Like, I love that you could have that option in this game, to where if you need to gut an area, which we're going to do that to our downtown, um, after, like, eventually down the road. That's definitely going to happen. Um, 
so that'll be fun but yeah like you don't have to be so structured and rigid you can be you can have fun and uh with this game in those in that way so i'm gonna take that off we'll figure some detailing out something right here like a maybe a little restaurant park but i think i do like the idea of maybe adjusting some of the zoning here maybe taking this off deleting you and then we can have footpath let's turn off all of our snap views yeah we got a footpath right here to connect to the um uh, connect to the you know what i do think i want to um crossing there we'll just have to pretend that this connects all the way to the um parking lot but yeah so we have office parking back here which is kind of ideal i think um i like that a lot so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna draw some road frames out we're gonna take you and go all the way down let's go down to about let's go let's say 60 meters or 60 units i forgot that if this is a mod or not i think this is a mod that i'm using for um i can't i honestly can't remember i don't want to say anything wrong so i will forget that i was going down that rabbit hole so what i'm going to do like i said we're going to get some road frames down and i love 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 this railroad track this train track is getting used and that's how we know that we did it right people are in it and people are using it so that's awesome so what i'm going to do we're going to grab just something like so something like this and i think what we'll do let's just put another one straight down the middle i want to kind of leave this place more open but i also need we also like we obviously had the demand so we need to f address it um I mean, i'm just figuring out how i want to actually do you know this area here i think i think the aesthetic of having a road going down this way like encompassing the road tracks kind of a vibe also in my old samville build that's kind of how we're building that out we're making the in city skylines one we're making the um train track that cuts through the center of the map a feature and i think that's going to be pretty cool Oh, that's because I was using the wrong tool. Whoops. So, yeah. I hope everyone's having a great week. I am um, recording this on a Saturday. Because that's my recording days. For City Skylines 2. And I am having a good week. And I hope you all are too. I want to thank you guys so much for the growth on the channel. Um, we, we're at 114 subs as of recording this video. And I think I owe it to you guys to give you updates. <laughs> so, I want to thank you all so much for, for, for clicking the subscribe button. Um, if you're not subscribed and you would like to help support the channel, that's the best way that you can that you can show some love is with the comment, the like, and subscribe. They all mean a ton. They all help out. And they're, they are rather encouraging, I will admit. Um, I enjoy... I uh, enjoy reading all the comments. I enjoy that uh, you all enjoy what we're doing here on the channel. And by we, I mean I and my dog Sheldon. <laughs> he is a good boy. All right. So I think what we're going to do, I'm going to just do a little path right there so I can kind of get an idea. So this is going to be, get off the screen. <laughs> this is going to be our, um, a diagonal road here that seems kind of cool i think we can get the zoning a little more fleshed out meh that'll be fine fun spaces y'all you know so i think what i'm gonna do we're gonna have this be a fun fun little commercial district area perhaps and then down here like i said what we're gonna do Let's get a two-lane road, and we're going to put it right about here. We're just going to kiss that alleyway, like so. And then we're going to grab just our alleyways, and then we're going to... I think we're going to do some organic-style layouts, kind of like how we've been doing over in this area. Um, because the grid, right? <laughs> 
you all know how I feel about the grid. No need to keep talking about that. But it, it's nice to change it up every once in a while, you know? So we're going to just kind of get some, get some fun little shapes and such in here. Actually, I feel like this needs to be... We can fix this. We can make it better. We're going to draw all that there. That's better. Yeah, for sure. All right. So again, there's one thing that I want to do. want to make sure that I'm doing consciously is kind of being a little more free form with everything, you know, um, because while the grid is very effective, very efficient, um, and there's nothing wrong with it. I, if at some point it does get kind of boring to look at, although it is super effective. And as such, I want to keep things light and breezy, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, that'll be, that'll be fine. That'll be just a fun little neighborhood. And then we can add some like trees and detailing and whatnot. So that's cool. But yeah, I think this will be a fun area. And I think what we'll do is we'll kind of continue with some of our, um, what are these things? Mixed use housing over here as well. So that'll be a good time. But what I think we want to do is before we got zone this all out and figure out everything, what we're going to try to do, what we need to do is we need to address our abysmal, abysmal fire and rescue police department education. So let's look at our education stuff. That's right. We have a big need for it, to be completely honest. We have all the money in the world that we need. I'm going to take a sip of coffee real quick. But if we go here and we look, we have the need for speed. So I'm going to upgrade this. We're going to grab our city elementary school. And I think we're going to place it. Let's place it um, right here. I think this will be a good time. No, City Elementary School. We're going to place it. Let's place it here. Kind of fronting towards the railroad track. Hey, Milestone 13, huge city. We've unlocked $325,000, which is amazing because we just spent a lot of it. We have 13 expansion points or whatever development points. And there we are. So if we go here. So one thing that the people are complaining about, as you can see here, um, two things, noise pollution and unreliable internet service. So what we can do is we can address at least one of those things. Let's take a look at our communications and get a satellite uplink and we're going to buy it. And so now what we can do is we can give people the things that they need all across this, the, the, net, the internet. Okay. And also need to get some like some sort of recycling facilities out here because we do not have that. This trash is piling up here. Or alternatively, let's put one of those on there. And I think we've got another one hanging about. So yeah, I just think it's kind of a trash issue as well. I don't know. What do you mean I can't upgrade you? Alright, we're going to delete you. And we're going to go straight just a little bit so you won't complain. <laughs> and we'll do this. Oh, 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 I'm struggling, boys. There we are. Fixed it. All right, so let's do our advanced thing there. All right. Um, sorry, distracted education so we have an elementary school here let's go ahead and we're going to put extension floor on i'm going to put this here now we do we have it in an operational district we do not but we need it to be there here's what we're going to do we're going to click it we're going to select operating districts we're just going to double click elizabeth glenn because that's a big one oh select operating districts. okay there we go so if we go look, we can see that we are there, which is amazing. And then what we can do is we can surround this area with, or surround the, the school with other uses, such as our 
City High School because again, we need it. I think I like the idea of having it on its own thing. But it's also not straight there, so maybe not. Let's put this rope back. Do that. But what I think we will do is get a uh, little alleyway here and connect up to this. This is we're gonna have some throughput, you know. And then we'll grab our city high school, similar situation, but let's actually put it on the side road there. And now we have upgrades. We have upgrades. So that'll be a good time. And then we could put something right here, some arc of interest or what have you. So let's go ahead. We're going to select operating districts. We're going to put that exit out. All right. And now we have school there. So if we go back to our educational view, we've barely made a dent in kind of our education stuff. But yeah, we need, we need it. So that's all covered. So I want to think about getting a school somewhere over here as well. So I definitely should have been paying more attention to all of this, but oh, look at this. We are, our citizens are getting happy again. So that's cool. We're also losing citizens, which is not cool. So that's kind of where we're at. Let's put some fire stuff down kind of in the same area because I know for a fact that yeah we are hurting for that so we're gonna put our fire department station situation station here then we're gonna grab a police station situation station and put it right can I not okay I'm gonna turn off all that oh something's in the way that's why it's not sitting down Oopsie. I don't know what we can do. Do I want it even over here or do I want it somewhere else? I think I like it right here, actually. There we go. That'll be fine. Just an eminent domain to some homes. That'll be fine. Get some helipad and we're going to. Okay, cool. Then we're going to select that. We're going to select this. We're going to select already districts. We're going to select this. All right. Why are you the way that you are? I'll delete you and you'll come back in. So that should help out a little bit in this area. But again, like I said, we need. Let's check out our budget for the um, crash and whatnot. We have the recycling center over here. And if we've got another one somewhere else in the city over here yeah which doesn't make any sense oh it's a water treatment okay that's odd it seems like mainly the things that are having trash trouble or things that shouldn't be having trash trouble that doesn't make sense to me um let's get let's just kind of expand out some of these Fun little areas let's put you in the other side of the road we can get a storage extension and I think I like the idea of putting it right about here so all the so if to my understanding is if they're not operating districts they'll assign everywhere see what's going on it might just be a little too far out of the way um but we can address that after a while but so yeah we wanted i wanted to get that in so that's nice we're making money but we're losing citizens which is not good so i think as they get happier yeah as they as they get happier they'll come back let's see what we have in the way of communications we have a satellite uplink which could be a fun build to work with we have telecom tower which again could be a really fun thing to look at Oh, that would be sick. We kind of put it right in the middle on this lake here. Yeah. But we'll have to figure all this out. But anyway, back to what we were doing. So I've rambled plenty, 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 plenty. So what we're going to do is we're going to come through and we're going to zone these areas. Is on this area. Maybe expand it out just a touch. And then we will see where we're at after that. So I will return 
momentarily. Okay, so what I've tried to do is come in and zone through, you know, whatever we needed out here. And then I came over here, zoned in some of those beautiful um, waterfront housing zoning. Um, and I, I think I like the way that it turned out. Um, it's a little different. It's a, very much, it's much more compact than the other areas that we've done. But I think it works. And I took a screenshot because our train station is being well utilized now um which i absolutely adore so that's 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 fantastic um but because we've got so many people we got such our building density over here is kind of getting kind of up there in you know obviously in density and so we have a lot of people moving in but they're all coming from this intersection out here which is amazing but it's causing quite the traffic problem. And I had planned on doing a fun little interchange right here intersection. 
Um, but that didn't quite pan out the way I wanted it to. Um, but you know, it's fine. That's that is what it is. So I just put a roundabout here, and we have a little bit of four lane down to two lane splitting off all that kind of stuff. Um, and I think it's I think it's gonna work out. Like once everything kind of settles out a little bit, it should be fine. What I want to do is I want to grab maybe a park of some flavor. I like this park. We haven't used this before. Let's put it right here on the angled piece. Yeah. Then we can have that to, to detail and play with. That'll be a good time. Do we have a cemetery over here or some sort of death care, I wonder? Let's take a look. We have one small crematorium. And it's in use, you know, it's being used, so that's awesome. Let's put... Let's get some, uh... Get some upgrades on it, that'll be fine. Let's check our citizen happiness. Still, unreliable internet service, it's fine, it'll be fine. So, yeah, so, you know, we've got that going for us, which is nice. I'm kind of disappointed in some of these. Ah, oh, this is because there's a big accident. Wow. The ambulance caught on fire. That's not good. So, oh well. It is what it is. It's fine. So, all that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come through, do some detailing now. Um, and I will be... Actually, before we do our detailing stuff, let's kind of expand this out. We're going to just... Do some fun, huge, big grid zoning. Why not? Ooh, let's do that. Now we're gonna do get some through roads. Why not? Do something like this. It's not gonna be exactly perfect, but that's okay. Sometimes you need to just release the inhibitions. You know, feel the rain on your skin. <laughs> No one else can feel it for you. Only only you can let it in. As they say. So. That's nice. I like it. I want to know why this material is being silly. The silly goose that it is. But that's okay. We'll just do this. And this. And this. I'm going to uninstall. <laughs> uninstall. I'm going to delete zoning off of there. I don't like that actually. So. That's fun. But yeah, as we as we kind of grow out, I think this area looked really nice. Kind of as we creep towards the interchange down here, we'll have more things to think about. But let's make sure that our district is covered. But I think I want to kind of wrap this area up within the next couple episodes, so we can gut our downtown over here and figure something else out with that. And I think that'll be a good time. I really do. I think um, I think that'll be an interesting build. We're going to air it all out and put it back in. Because again, like I was saying earlier, one great thing about City Skylines is you can do that and it'd be okay. Nobody's going to be like, nah, man, you can't do that. Say I won't. My party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> and by cry, I mean tear down an entire uh, downtown. And I understand realism, yada yada. But I'll be honest, I don't know how to build realistic cities. I just build things that I like, and it seems to be working out, so that's what we're going to go with. So let's do this. We're going to put in some zoning here, and here, and here. But yeah. I'm looking forward to the next big update for City Skylines 2. And so what uh, we're trying to do is I'm not I haven't decided yet I'd, I'd love you to I'd love y'all's opinion on this next thought that I'm about to think what do you all think about wrapping up Blackshire or and and starting a new you too old, starting a new series for Sea Skylines 2 once the second detailers patch drops um 
Because really, really, in my opinion, the game's in a very workable, fun state as it is right now. I'm, I, I'm enjoying it. Um, I, and I think that you are all enjoying it as well. I mean, I haven't heard otherwise. So, I'd just love to know your thoughts. What do you think about starting a new City Skyline series and maybe sending Blackshire out to pasture, so to speak? Alternatively, we could keep Blackshire in our back pocket in case we want to do things and revisit and whatnot. Um, what do you mean? Okay, that's my sense. But, that's just something to think about. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through, do some detailing, some of these smaller areas, make it pretty. Um, and I know that we just had a big time lapse, but we're going to have another one. Time lapse galore today. Tell you what. So, all that said, I'll be back after all of these messages from our detailing people. Welcome back after that. Um, so basically what I did is I came through, I finished out this park and honestly, from this perspective right here, that's gorgeous. I love that. I love that a ton. I don't take a screenshot of it. So basically I just finished out some path work around it. I connected paths kind of in different areas, sprinkled down some trees. I didn't go too crazy with the, um, with the well i didn't go crazy at all with the lawn work like we did over over here and then over on this side of the city wherever that was i forgot where it was but anyway we we didn't do too crazy 
too too many things with this we just added some paths finished out i really like this park it's so unique so so fun um let's zoned out a few things kind of get some uh, extra density in here and as you can see we did we did all that as well with some of the low density houses and then i came back here and i just kind of decorated the through paths i don't think that i want these i, I didn't really envision this area being like a park space but just a fun place for people to like walk and things because i imagine that here we will get some extra zoning let's go ahead and do that because we have the demand for it so i'm just going to make this a big commercial strip just all the way through to about right there i think and then what we can do is maybe grab a high density right here and that'll be that let that come up and really that's that's about all that time lapse was um all that detailing time lapse was i just i just think that we're starting to look pretty pretty tasty pretty good these sight lines are fantastic um i do want to kind of zone in some more of that and we'll do that as we go um but yeah i'm i'm kind of enjoying the way that this neighborhood's coming out um with some just normal tree brush stuff you know you know my methods where i like to take the uh vanilla tree brush and spray down you know deciduous and conifers or evergreens as they call them or the, and the bushes as well so really i mean that's about all, all she wrote for this episode um i mean realistically what we could do is we could definitely try to get some more residential zoning in which i think is what we might do so let's go ahead let's put some let's put some row homes let's put some a uh, line of row homes here i think i think that's a good time so we can get those start getting that demand down and then making use of some of the uh low rent housing we're gonna do let's do a three by four deep uh zoning here just leave some spaces we'll delete that because i want them all to be uniform so you know friends honestly i feel like this whole area is coming along quite nicely um but we have tons of problems over there over in the big city trash piling up all of that good 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 stuff so we'll have to come back through we'll do this next episode but we're gonna take a look at all of this see what we need and make adjustments and add and remove things as we need to but you know friends with all that said i want to thank you so much for joining me thank you for your likes your comments your subscribes they all mean a whole ton all that i will see you guys in the next video Bye bye